Winters tend to be cold, dark and gloomy, and seemingly last forever in our neck of the woods. As the bulk of this video was actually edited together last winter, I can attest it was a welcome escape to revisit the memories of our years ago hangabouts in Madeira. A lovely island with warm weather, epic nature that has earned it a nickname European Hawaii, beautiful urban landscapes and also a long heritage of rum production. At southwest coast of Madeira, approximately half an hour's drive from Funchal, the island's capital, lies Arja da Galleta, a charming little settlement where our home base was going to be. Because tourism was at its low and so were the prices, we managed to snag a pretty sweet house for our stay. It was nice and roomy, had an ocean view and a banana plantation next to it, from where the owner kindly allowed us to pick bananas for our breakfasts. As we were not quite up to greater adventures at the very day of our arrival, this first little montage is just us discovering our neighborhood, and also Praia da Galleta, or Galleta Beach, downhill from our village. The Galleta Municipality is among the oldest parishes in Madeira, being founded in 1430. As suitable for a rural region on coastline, its main industries are fishery and agriculture, but throughout the history, also beekeeping, dairy industry and firework production have been substantial in the area. After the short exploration of our home areas, we hit the sack quite early and woke up ready for a scenic and at some points a bit scary uphill drive towards our first adventure. Our drive was spectacular and filled with amazement, but not very long, and before we knew it, we reached the beginning point of the 11 km trail of 25 fountains. Although we never actually counted the fountains, it is safe to believe that the name of the trail is legit as we were accompanied by the murmur of flowing water for the most of the walk. Tracing the stream had gotten us a bit off the track and we needed to do some climbing to get back to the original path, but the views were worth it.
some points of our walk we faced not too distant reminders that even with well-maintained tracks the walks on the mountainous terrain are never entirely without dangers. But fear is for the fearful, so we proceeded and quite soon reached the main attraction. Although the return was mostly uphill, we made it. And here I can leave you with the footage of cows domineering the parking lot and our downhill fun ride back to the coastal regions. 